Over the years, I've filled up lots of journals of my dreams. I've been doing that for about 16 years. And it's amazing when rereading some of these entries, you know, how much it actually, you know, triggers real memories of the dream. There's all sorts of experiences we're having every night that just sort of disappear if you don't log it. And everybody dreams every night, but you just, you forget it so quick if you don't practice dream recall, which is essentially journaling them in the morning. I've gone through phases of doing it different ways. I used to be really adamant about doing them by hand in a physical journal, but over the past year, I've been experimenting on and off with doing them digitally. I briefly tried voice notes and that sucked because, you know, if you live with anybody else, uh, it sounds crazy. And the way I've been doing it most recently, I think is kind of the most sustainable. So the way you do it is you need some sort of notes app, something that will allow you to have thousands and thousands of notes that can easily be sorted. I use Microsoft OneNote. This way it syncs automatically to my computer and my phone. Evernote is very similar. I'm sure there's lots of other apps. And then I create a notebook in there called Dream Journal. And every entry I create it automatically saves the date and I can type up what the dream was. Now, here's the key thing about the dream is when you first wake up, you're in no shape to write paragraphs of prose, okay? And I used to try to do that. I used to try to write long sentences describing in detail the plot of the dream and I would lose the dream so fast. I would like, it would just, it would disappear. So the way that I do it now is with keywords. I'll immediately wake up. I'll start typing as fast as I can, usually with gesture typing, because it's faster and just write key things. House on fire, period. A hundred cats, period. Blood everywhere, period. And it'll almost appear sort of like a list in, you know, in sentence form with periods and stuff. I'll put on screen an example of a real dream I logged. So if you see, it's not that long. It gets a lot of information across. And those specific details are really the key things you need to be practicing practicing to increase your dream recall. You don't need to describe everything that happens with the plot and the dynamics of all the dream characters and stuff. You just really need to get information out. And that's more than enough uh, to help you not only remember the dream, but it's also enough to train your brain to start valuing the specifics of that experience, therefore increasing dream recall over time. So if you're trying to remember your dreams, you're trying to dream journal them, uh, do it this way. I think it's the best. The other huge benefit to having it in like a digital notebook like this is you can search easier. Evernote, OneNote, it allows you to search through all your notes. So if you want to remember that weird dream you had, uh, you know, control F and type in the keyword and then uh, you'll be able to find it. I've also used this as sort of just a wealth of information for inspiration. I write a lot of short films and the sketches and music and stuff. And by going through some of these old journal entries, it gives me all kinds of weird, surreal ideas for my art. And I've written, I've written a bunch of short films that have specific elements that were from dreams, not necessarily like the whole plot, but usually like one weird visual element or a strange line of dialogue somebody says, or even just a tone or sort of a situation. It's very helpful. Give it a shot.